Hey guys, um, as I promised, I'd uh, definitely do an unboxing of this console. So this is the Halo 5 Guardians Edition console. This is actually one of the uh, the very few things I was looking forward to this year. But it is, I by the looks of it, when I saw it at Fan Expo and many of the other things on YouTube, I really, really wanted it. So here goes nothing. We're going to first open up the box. Okay, so once we open the box, let's find out what's inside. Okay. We got ourselves a nice steel book. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So, usually what's inside is if I remember correctly, yep, there's the full game. It comes with a few little bonus contents. We're not going to open that because we don't want to reveal any codes, although they're probably um uh, blocked off anyway until scratched off with a coin. It comes with a 14-day trial, it would seem. It's going to be pretty useful if uh I ever run out of gold little card. I'm not going to go too th through too much details, but it's a uh, operation order. I guess that's some sort of spoiler, you know, for those little goodies that some people like. Inside here is those cards that um, uh, show each of the uh, Spartans on the teams, Mass Chief team and the Spartan Lock team. This is that little constructible figurine. Um, I'm not really going to do it right now, but this is basically what it comes with. The little metal pieces that you have to actually pull apart and then combine together to make the actual figurine and then the actual instruction guide that you're going to need so let's move on to the next item let's put this back real quick still a nice steel book geez look at that okay and of course just like the Halo 4 console, you would get the uh, Photos armor, but this time with the Halo 5 console. And inside here is the long-awaited controller. You can buy this separately, but um, uh, I thought, you know, I'm getting the console anyway. Why would I buy it separate? It's a very nice design, I have to say. It looks very nice. It'll go right beside my Master Chief controller. That's good. If you're wondering, those things in the background are actually, you get those when you pre-order the uh, the game, so um uh, yeah they're like little voting posters, kind of like how uh, when you uh, you have those votes for politicians. Anyways, here's the regular headset. No one really cares about that though. Everyone gets that thing. Here is the power cable and the HDMI cable. Moving on to the power block. I'm just going to run, run right through this real quick because I'm sure we all want to see that console, especially me. I was really looking forward to this console. I'm just hoping they fixed how the sound was when you turned on the console. It was really weird. It didn't really remind me of Halo that much. Anyways, um, the moment we've all been waiting for, the console itself. Just take out this um, uh, foam right here. That one at a time. Great. So... Perfect. Yes, it is covered. That's awesome. Let me wrap this nicely. I'm going to actually probably keep the wrap just in case I want to wrap it back up. Nice and easily peel it off. Peel off the tape. One piece at a time. Oh, they even double wrapped it. That's nice. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the front first. Wow, look at that. That looks beautiful, my god. I have to say, I know it's not the best because it wasn't exactly designed off Mass Chief, but I have to say, even if it was designed differently, it looks amazing. I just, I'm just really excited for this game. I'm sure many of you are, but this console looks amazing. And if we look on the back, it's the exact same parts. That's great. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the console. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did.